entertaining. You have someone who supports you. I mean, do you know, why am I even telling people what I bring to the table? I don't even need to explain myself. Anyways, what about Timu? I've never tried Timu. Get married, please. Huh? You're so gorgeous, girl. Thanks. Your question, your qualities better be good. No, I, no, I genuinely think my qualities as, not even as a wife, I'm not talking about a wife, I'm talking about as a human being. I feel like, like, I'm very understanding. I know that, does, does that kind of add, you know what I mean? I feel like I just get people and when someone says something to me, they're just like, how do you just get me? I'm like, cause I just get you because it's just me. You know, do you work or study? I work. Are you from up north? Yes, but listen, right? As I was saying before, I feel like I get everyone, but I feel like only a handful of people get me back and I hate. Actually, no, I don't mind. I feel like my best friend gets me. She gets me. I don't need anyone else to get me if she gets me. I met this girl at work. I don't really know her, but I told her that I liked her and she told me she's... You might as well be a therapist. You know what? I want to be a therapist. Have you ever been in a relationship before or had feelings for a guy before? Guys, is it too personal to talk about that? Should I talk about it? No. Should I? But then I like to talk about it because I like to give advice to people. Shall I? How do you always have a story to say? Guys, because I'm so entertaining. You see, I should be a YouTuber. I could just stand in front of a YouTube and just like always tell a story. No, your cousin's probably stalking you. Listen, my mom knows everything about my life. So anything I say, my parents already know. So it's not that deep. I Okay, so um, I connected with someone once a very long time ago. A very, very, like a very long time. I mean like years, okay? Don't talk about sins. No, no, no. This isn't a sin, by the way. It's I never said I was I was never in a relationship. I've never been in a relationship, so whatever. But I connected with this person, and do you know what? Connect. I've just never found that connection ever again with anyone else, and I just feel like it's so sad because like you find a connection and you just never find it again, and you're just like, right, okay, I'm never gonna find it ever again, and I just never looked. If the guy calls you a scumbag, you're this, you're that, and he's angry, should you still be with him? Listen, if somebody called your daughter or your son a scumbag, what would you say to them? You tell them, go leave that guy or that girl. Why is she calling you that? So, no, of course you should leave him. Like, come on. Just because you're looking for him in another man. No, you know some people, right? Look, I will say something. You can tell when someone likes you and wants to get to know you for you. And if somebody just... Like, I feel like in this generation... Listen to this, right? I feel like in this generation, what blush are you wearing? Check out my new TikTok that I literally just posted, okay? I, I did a video, like a long video about it. Um, what did I say? You will find that connection with me, just shout me. No. Anyway, as I was saying, I just feel like in, we're living in a generation where nobody wants to connect. Like when I talk, if I want to get to know someone, I want, I try to get to know everything. I want to know everything about them. I want to know why they are the way that they're interested, but I never get, like people don't reciprocate that back and they just, they just like, they don't want, they don't, like guys, listen, how many times have you talked to someone and I know you guys are going to be like, yeah, Tazima, you're so freaking right. How many times have you tried to talk to someone and they just, you can tell like they just, like it's it's not bouncing you know it's not bouncing off each other how do you pin your scarf i pin it at the top here and these two i use like a pin that you can't see it's like it's i think it's called a dressmaker pin 99 percent of the time yes <gasps> sarah i think that's sarah sarah whatever i stalk your tiktoks all the time you you you're i wait you're the girl with like that goes traveling all the time with her friends right i freaking stalk you all the time. you know i saved your tiktok videos in a folder i have a folder called i have a folder called um watch this if you're sad and like your videos are all on it <laughs> yeah i'm so sorry that's very alarming yeah yeah i watch you are you the one that did this the one direction song tiktok video and like you were in like spain or somewhere it's so frick I, I can't remember you did like a music video with like your friends in spain or somewhere and i watch it all the time Oh my god, girl, you're in my watch me. You know what? Maybe I should do videos, like talking videos on how to get over like people and stuff because I'm so good at it. Okay, anyway, what was I saying? What was I talking about before? What was I talking about? Oh yeah, connection. Yeah, I feel like I have experienced having a connection with someone and I've just never experienced it since then. I feel like maybe it was like, maybe like, it was very, it was a very long time ago, okay? It was such a long time ago, and I feel like that person just got me. Like, they, 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 they got me so much, and, like, they just, like, they, they just got me. They understood, like, they had, it was just, like, me. I was with, I was talking to me and myself, like that. And then, yeah, I just, it was just me, you know? And then it just, 
never worked out and then and it's been years now it's been like a very long time and i just never found that i feel like and like back then i was so ugly right i was so ugly and this person or whatever whatever i feel like they just liked me for me and then now after like all of that stuff whatever i just started like focusing on myself and like trying to look nice all the time because like i don't know i just feel like my parents raised me like that and now i don't know it's just nobody wants to get me they don't want to know me show us an ugly pic i was so ugly i was so ugly back back in the days you are still thanks i know you have a crush on me but it's fine so are you solo traveling to find yourself no i'm solo traveling because it's just so yeah no, no no i think i have found myself i love myself i think i found myself but i just once you start traveling by yourself you can't stop you get addicted to it i saw that tiktok of you talking about jenna and it made me tear up may allah grant you the highest rank oh i got a lot of hate on that and i was like what the flip where are you gonna go so i really want to go i really 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 re i'm gonna i'm saving up for new york and i'm saving up for japan i wanted to go to korea but apparently in korea you sh um everything's very couple based like a group based so they don't have restaurants that uh, like that are friend not friendly but you know they don't let you in if you're a solo traveler or something because they do like group people stuff so i want to go to korea so i'm gonna have to wait till either my best friend comes with me or Allah grants me a husband and he can come with me. You're above av oh God, that's gone. You're above what? A lot of halal restaurants too. Wait, in in Korea, right? I wanna go Korea. Korea looks so freaking good. <sighs> you can join a girls only group to go traveling. I do wanna do that, but then what if like you don't get along with the girls? That's because you have to be compatible with the person that you're traveling with as well, you know. You're above average personality wise and new york is boring to be fair new york is boring i don't think new york would do it. i've seen have you seen that video that's like good morning new york that sound it was so cool i've been to korea i found a wagyu place in japan owned by a revert muslim you've been to japan you lucky little cow no you're not a cow but like you know it's just like a figure of speech i don't know if you'll get offended by that you went to japan new york is bad you need to make friends not that materialistic pra is overhyped. New York is overhyped. I've been to Korea, very beautiful place with my boy Korean. You know, New York is definitely boring. It's all the hype. New York is dead. If you go solo, guys, I'm going to Turkey. I can't freaking wait. You guys watch. You know the content that I'm gonna come out with when I go to Turkey. You guys, are gonna, you make sure you listen. Yeah, guys, if you're watching, 300 people watching, follow me because I'm gonna go to Turkey soon. Inshallah. I'm gonna make out, I'm gonna come out with the best content ever. I'm gonna like do everything. I'm gonna record everything and I'm gonna, yeah. So make sure you stay tuned for that. It's gonna be so cool. But anyways, as I was saying, one thing, can you tell the difference between, oh, I went away. You can rent a friend in Korea. You can rent a friend in Korea? That's something I would 100% do. Where's your dress from? It's from Sheen. Japan is expensive though. I suggest you save a minimum a thousand for spending to make the most of it. Oh, a thousand? But how long, how long would you go for? When are you going? Now I'm not going to Japan yet. I'm we're just like discussing. No, you, New York is so good. But, but you see there are certain countries. This is the only thing I'm really annoyed about is that obviously because I'm not married, and I don't have a mahram. There's a lot of countries that I wouldn't go to by myself, but I really want to like experience it. Brazil, but like I would never go unless um, I just booked your tickets for Japan. Okay, Galulu, whatever your name is. Um, I really want to go to Brazil so bad, like so freaking bad. Like the beaches in Brazil, so freaking bad. But like I can't go. You need a mail for that, just in case. You know, I say six days in to six days in Tokyo and three days in Kyoto. Galulu, you're such a Bengali smelly fish. <laughs> okay. I love fish. Come to Los Angeles for the beaches. I want to go to Miami. Guys, apparently Miami is really nice. What about brothers or cousins? What do you mean? You can rent a boyfriend in Japan. And you can rent a dad there. Osaka has Disneyland and Universal Studios. Is that in Japan as well? Has anyone been to Istanbul? Have you guys, has anyone been there? Because I'm going to go and I, and I made an entire list of everything that I want to do there. No bikini allowed in the beach, okay? I'm from Miami, you're welcome to come. Don't go to Miami, they'll chat you up. I've been and it's so boring. No, but Miami, I wanna go, I know this sounds really weird, but I wanna go to look at, no, 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 I'm not gonna say it. I'm, I'm, I know I'm gonna say it, it's not that bad. I wanna go to look at the girls because apparently the girls are really like beautiful and I like looking at beautiful girls because girls are just gorgeous and you know. 
you know, I just like looking at them. I'm just like, oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Miami is really dirty. Dirty as in like litter dirty. The girls are full of BBL. I've never seen a BBL girl in real life and I really want to see one. So maybe that's why I want to go to Miami so I can see a BBL girl in real life. Cause I just love looking like girls. That's just so, I, I like, I like looking at them. I'm just like gorgeous.